Hello and welcome to uh, are we are we live now? <laughs> I guess we are live. Uh, welcome to another episode of Tech One Two. I'm Rolando, founder of Global Tech Worldwide, and I'm so glad that you joined me today. As we have a really good special for you, we're bringing to you a Bluetooth headset that you may or may not have heard of. That is the EPOS Presence UC. That's what we're featuring today on this episode of Tech One Two. EPOS, if you don't already know, used to be called Sennheiser. It's a quite complicated relationship. There was a merger, a divestiture, they separated themselves, changed their name. It's complicated. EPOS is now the name of that entity in the US that sells the Bluetooth headsets, the wireless headsets, speakerphones, and several other product lines. While the traditional Sennheiser stuff that you may know of as a microphone that you see uh, singers like Bad Bunny and all these other famous people use, those are typically Sennheiser microphones. Those are still called Sennheiser. But today, we're going to look at the EPOS presence you see Bluetooth headset, and we're going to dive in, give you a little unboxing, as well as give you some tips on what to do with this so that you can sound like a pro. All right. Now, before we go ahead and kick things off today, I have somebody who, who helps me out I wouldn't say every day, but when it comes to these types of videos and tutorials and getting on Amazon, I got to call him out so that he can come out of the green room to give me a hand. Why don't you come out of the green room, Ori, and introduce yourself and to the people on Amazon. What up, what up, what up, Amazon Live. Nice to be here. Uh, it's a pleasure, as always. This is my first time on the air, actually. <laughs> so, uh, hello, <laughs> sort everyone. Of. <laughs> to, to those who have been watching our live streams, I am the producer of uh, both What the Tech and Tech One Two, two of our excellent shows on Global Tech. So hello, hello. Hey, Ori, thank you for uh, joining me. I'm just, I'm just adjusting my microphone levels over here. If you could inch up, maybe boost your microphone just microphone? a hair, right. give it a little there bit more go. gain if you can. Check, check one, two. Do much I sound better, better now? Not much better now. I'm just adjusting mine um, so that I can hear you a little bit better. All right. Awesome. Well, Ori, thanks for uh, joining me today. And he will also be helping me on interaction with people. So if you are watching us today, go ahead and send us a chat, a little message. Let us know where you're tuning in from. And don't forget to bump that like button. And if you haven't followed us before, go ahead and hit and smash and bump the follow button too, or subscribe or wherever you happen to be watching because this uh, it's also streamed outside of Amazon. So if you're watching us outside of Amazon, let us know where you're tuning in from. We'd love to hear from you as we roll through this. So let's start, Ori, with a listing. Let's can we can we see what we've got on on these listings on the on the presence? All right, give me one sec. I'll pull All that right, up. All right. Well, Ori's bringing that out. Uh, I've got my box ready here. I've got my water here so that just in case things get we start, you know, really chatting up a storm. Uh, we can uh, make sure my throat stays nice and good for the rest of the day. Um, I'm in my new set here, my new home studio. Uh, so you may see a little bit different view and perspective as, uh, and I'm sporting also my Yankees uniform today. So you'll see a little bit different view of what's going on. So when we look at this here, um, this listing, uh, you've got the EPOS Presence UC headset. This headset is great for anybody that wants to uh, go ahead and use this for traveling purpose. You're in a car and we've got several demo videos. So if you want to look for in-depth videos, tutorials on this, we've done this on our YouTube channel where we've done really extensive in-depth reviews on this, uh, where we actually get in a car, use it so you can see what the sound quality is like. So uh, if you want to, uh, when this broadcast is over, head on over to our YouTube channel. It's the What the Tech, and tech is spelled just like you see it on the screen, T-E-C-K, What the Tech on YouTube, and just go into our channel and type in presence, and you'll see several videos that we've done on that as well. All right, yeah, there we go. Ori, thanks for putting that in. And so we've got a bunch of videos here, and we've done several highlighting the presence you see, so you could see it in action. Today, we're just going to point out some pointers, give you some... Uh, information that'll help you on your way. So Dave and I do this every Tuesday. Uh, we go live 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, where we're um, highlighting different products, 
reviewing some of them. Also, we bring on speakers that are um, up on what's happening with the technology and how it affects the workplace. That's where we kind of navigate our spaces in that office space or home office where you'd actually use some of these products. And so the presence you see, or let's jump back into the listings. And the presence you see has been around for a while. It's a good headset, it's a lightweight headset. And we could jump into some of the unboxing as, as we're moving through this. Uh, the headset, here's the box so that you could see what it comes in. It's a very small uh, box. You can so, so for some perspective, this is a, a mouse that you see here on the table. And, um, or is it just means it just looks a little bit out of focus? Yeah, it does look a little bit out of focus, okay, bro. So let me, let me adjust that camera. There we go. Up. Just a hair. There we go. All righty. I think we should be in focus. There we go. Ah, much better. Look better to you? Yep, for okay. sure. So uh, it comes in this brown box. So one of the things about brown box is that it's recyclable. So if you're concerned about the environment and you're concerned about packaging, EPOS, which was formerly Sennheiser, sends this out in a brown uh, type of box. So you can easily recycle. Now, uh, in the box, you get your standard user manual. We'll, we'll go cover what's in here in a second. Uh, and if you don't happen to be somebody that reads the user manual, kind of like me, uh, that's why I'm here. I'm here to help you out. It comes in this nice little black case. It's a travel case. You can take it with you. It's got a zipper. It's got the logo on the front. And inside is the Bluetooth headset. It comes with an ear hook. Uh, and that ear hook can be uh, used on left or right. I'm going to remove it from the ear from the um, presence you see. So you can see it also comes with a small little bud and this bud goes into your ear so that it can stabilize it uh, and you can use the ear hook itself with it if you want a little bit more stability or you can use it just without it. Okay so you get you get those two things. Oh, let me move this. Let's see. Okay. We'll move that out of the way. And also inside the box, a couple of more important things. There is a Bluetooth dongle. So if you're a PC user, stay tuned because I'm going to give you some pointers that's going to save you some frustration. So you've got the Bluetooth dongle. You absolutely want to use this if you are a computer user. All right. I'm going to tell you why in a moment. And you get some extra ear gels and these ear gels are different sizes so that if this particular one that came in the box is too big or too small, you can go ahead and change that out. It's very simple. It just comes right off like that. I'm just gonna put this to the side and you pick the size that you feel will work for you. I happen to be somebody that tends to be on the smaller end of the scale when it comes to these types of devices. So I'll just go ahead and put the smaller one on there as you can see. It's very straightforward, very easy. I just popped it on there and now I'm good to go. Uh, maybe I don't, if it's not so stable in your ear, just go ahead and pop this ear hook on there. And as you can see, this is for, if I wanna wear it on my right ear, if I wanna wear it on my left ear, I just flip it around like this, pull this ear hook out. And now I go back and just flip it over. And now it's ready for use on the left side of the ear. The ear hook is very flexible. So you can accommodate a number of different positions uh, from the way it wraps on your ear. So it is very customizable. So you can um, accommodate a whole host of wearing sizes, whether you have a big Dumbo ear or smaller little baby mouse ear like I tend to have. I have small, I just have small ears. A couple other things as we're looking at this product. It is charged with a USB uh, mini cable. This is a um, like the Android style. It's not USB-C. So in the box, if you don't already have one of these cables, comes a very short cable. I'm not in love with these short cables um, simply because, you know, sometimes you can't put something in your computer or, or even if you're going to stick this on a charger that you have. You see, it's a very short cable. Yeah, I'll take that out of the packaging. And if you you're like me, you, 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 this charger may be over there and it's a couple feet. Let's get a bigger or a longer cable. So you can see it's a short cable. And let's put this on the table. I don't, we haven't done this in a while. Let's see how long it is. I'll tell you exact dimensions as we have inches on here. 
Okay, this is telling me it is exactly. So it's 15 inches long, this cable. So it's not super long. I guess it's just long enough. If you hang it on your computer, it'll do the job. If you're looking for uh, a different kind of cable, I'd recommend a longer one, uh, mini USB. Let me see if I could bring that up. Let's see. Uh, right there. So you can see on one side is USB-A, the other side is USB mini. So that's what you get inside the box with this uh, presence you see. Now, as I mentioned, I was going to tell you a little bit more about this dongle. It's super important to understand um, why you want to use this dongle. Now, we've done a bunch of other episodes and other conversations with hundreds of customers over the years. And if you go online right now on any website that is selling a Bluetooth headset, I don't know. Wait, before I even say that, Ori, how many shows have episodes have we done talking about dongles and the problems with dongles? Uh, maybe a total of uh, 80, including <laughs> both. <laughs> we talk about it all tech. the time. We talk about dongles every time. And Guys, it, don't, it, don't lose it. You need don't, it. Don't lose it. Don't throw it away. Keep it. You're going to yeah. need this little thing, especially if you're a PC user. And let me tell you what happens. When you're a PC user and you want to use the presence with your PC, can it work with your PC like this without no dongle? Yes, it can. Bottom line, it can. The problem is, is that not all PCs play nice. Not all PCs work the same. Not all PCs have the same firmware. Not all PCs have the antennas for Bluetooth set up the same way. Sometimes you have a PC where the USB dongle, the positioning on it is all the way in the back. And because of that, you're going to get less signal, whether you're using a dongle or even using the native Bluetooth. And in some cases, um, we've done some research. And according to the Intel Corporation, which makes the chipsets for all of these, um, for the PCs, as well as for many of the mobile devices, the USB ports on a lot of these computers cause interference. Yes, I said that right. I'm going to repeat that again. Ori, can I do a pro tip? Can you give me a pro tip? Pro tip numero uno. Pro tip. Yes, numero uno. The first one of the day. You <laughs> And I totally, my mind just went bloop. <laughs> Don't uh, be a ding dong. Use the dongle. <laughs> yes, there you go. Don't be a ding dong. Use your uh, dongle. Just, yeah, just it, kidding. It, but you, <laughs> It's going <laughs> to save you a lot of frustration. So check this out. The Intel Corporation, they say that the USB ports that are on a lot of laptops today cause interference. And so there is no list of of um, computers that have this problem. So what I can tell you about this report, so if you really want to nerd out, Google, Intel Corporation, USB 3.0 uh, paper. It's about 50 pages long. It's very nerdy, very engineering. Basically, the bottom line here is that when you connect this to your computer and if you're using USB 3.0, there's a very good likelihood you may experience problems. And this is not just on the presence. This is across all Bluetooth dongles that you'd plug in, whether it's a keyboard dongle, whether it's a mouse dongle, and your USB uses 3.0, you may run into some problems. And the bottom line here is that the ports inside, let's get a little nerdy, the ports have no shielding. And when you don't have shielding on your USB port, the RF or radio frequency that's emitted out of that port Believe it or not, it's on the same frequency as this dongle. <laughs> so yeah, I was when I read this, I was like, what the heck? What the tech, Ori? What's going on? Why would these manufacturers do that? But the answer really is because they can and they're trying mm -hmm. to save money and there's parts that they can do double duty. And really, the computer is not like your mobile device. It, it, you would think so but it's not. It's built differently. The systems work differently. There's a lot of similarities. The, the PC still is more of a data device. 
the communications piece has kind of come along and it's an add on to many of these manufacturers. And right now, what you're looking at right now, if I'm talking to you, I'm actually talking to you through a brand new webcam that's built into one of these things. And we will tell you that in a little bit. I'm surprised at how good it looks, but getting back to what a PC will do when you're using these dongles, we've got a, uh, a workaround for it so that you don't have that interference. You can get a better line of sight and you can ex have a nice strong connection every time you use your Bluetooth device, in this case, the presence with your PC. And that is something we call the blue beacon range extender. This blue beacon range extender is exactly what it sounds like. It's a range extender on one end, um, or I'm going to reach right behind me. So give me a mm -hmm. second. Ooh. I've got a collection of toys behind me. These, uh, thank you. That's even better. Uh, the USB, um, Bluetooth and uh, the blue beacon range extender is a very simple device that allows you that's low cost allows you to easily move that port uh, or in this case the dongle away from the usb port so that you get a much better clearer stronger signal and because of this even if your port isn't shielded the fact that you can move or separate where that dongle is located from your laptop or computer it allows you to really lower that opportunity or that chance that the interference is going to essentially knock off your communications. Secondly, from a signals perspective, this extender allows you to essentially move the positioning of the dongle so that it's no longer behind a laptop or around the side. You know, these dongles are really small and you're talking about a very teeny little antenna that's emitting the signal. So what we've done is essentially created a way for you to use like a virtual Bluetooth tower with your the freezer right there, Ori. I go back a few seconds right there, that shot. So what you've got is essentially a virtual Bluetooth tower that we we're giving you. And with that, in the way this um, dongles positioned, the signal travels horizontally. So now it makes sense. If the signal's traveling horizontally, you can move away from that PC and have more distance. If you have the dongle, let's just say I'm laying it flat, like I have it here, and that's how it would go into most computers. Very unlikely you have a USB port that's um, sitting on top of a, of a monitor or a computer and you're plugging in vertically. With the, with the dongle vertically positioned like this, the signal goes again horizontally. So now from a range perspective, you're able to move further away than if it's sitting like this. And the reason is that the signal travels along the plane of how it's connected. So uh, I should say, is it the opposite? The opposite. So when you normally have it connected to your PC, the signal travels vertically when you have it in this position. All we're doing is changing that, moving it in an orientation where the signal now travels horizontally. And now you're going to get a much better connection because you're probably not going to sit next to your computer. If you want to use this Bluetooth device in the first place, it's because you want to be mobile. You want to move around. You're moving around your desk. You're, you know, maybe go get a package and maybe go get a, a drink of water, whatever. You're going to go to the printer and pick up, um, up, up some paper or something. You want that. So the blue beacon range extender will allow you to more, have more freedom and it will lower the likelihood that you're going to have problems when you use this with your computer. So thank you, Ori, for bringing up that video on the uh, present. So that that'd be the first pro tip for today. Now, mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. <laughs> as far as this manual goes, let me tell you, I've I've looked at this, read it myself several times. I'm I'm going to, if anybody's ever put a manual together, you know how difficult this can be. There's a lot of pictures in here that show you what to do. Um, some of them are slightly confusing. If you run into any issues, when you buy the presence, you see you have global tech that has a staff of trained people that know all of these ins and out. We understand all the charts. 
we've been selling headsets and office products for 20 years with people that I have had hours and hours of training, talked to thousands of clients, and they understand all of this. So if you get to a situation where you want to know what the heck, what happened, this stopped working, all that stuff, we know exactly what's going on. So don't worry if you lose this. As long as you've bought this from Global Tech, you can rest assured that our people will make sure that you get on your way. And if it stops working for whatever reason, we know exactly what you need to do so that you can get a replacement as long as it's under warranty. Um, and if it's out of warranty, we'll give you some options as well on what to do. Uh, and we've got videos as well on that. So if you need support, uh, again, our YouTube channel has a whole collection of these type of support issues so that you know, even if you don't want to speak with a human. Okay. Ori, did I miss anything there on that? Uh, no, I think All everything's right. been covered. All right. On that. Now let's talk about some pointers. All right. Let's go to, let's do, um, what do we have? We have nerd. We, we, we should have done a nerd alert when we were nerding out. Uh, we have pro tip on this brand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're doing pro tips. Right. Let's do another pro tip, Ori. Give me the second one. Pro All tip. Right. Pro Numero tip. dos Numero for today. Okay. So when you're using this, then the, the one, the other thing that people tend to ask us about on this device, and a lot of the Bluetooth devices, is how do I use this dongle? Let me, so let me tell you, you get, if you're a PC user, listen up. Listen up, PC user. When you connect this right into your USB port on your computer, this is going to automatically look for the presence device, the Bluetooth device. Now, you stick it in, and then all you simply do is and move this, and I'm going to move this over here a little bit closer. You see how this extends? All right. With this device, when you pull it out, and I love this. This is one of those things that I really like about this. It's the on and off feature is simpler than any other device that I've used. And again, I've got over 20 years of experience playing around with all of these devices that are Bluetooth. Boom. That turns the device off slide it out now it's on so when you're connecting and pairing you plug this guy in first and then you put it into the on position which is what i've got now and those two should sync up again remember that with bluetooth dongles the best thing to do is to have line of sight so if you don't have line of sight and it doesn't work i got you covered i'm gonna there is a a, a fail safe in case it doesn't sync up the first time on this device, on this Bluetooth dongle, what you've got, go to the tabletop for a moment. On the Bluetooth dongle, what you've got is a button on this dongle, all right? And this button will reset the device. And once you hold that down for three seconds, this button that's right here, there you go, you can see that. It resets the device, all right? And it puts it into parry mode. So you're gonna hold that dongle down for three seconds while it's inserted to your computer, not out here willy nilly like I'm holding it. So make sure you have it inserted the computer, hold that down for three seconds. You'll see a sequence of lights right at right here. It's got a little two little bars, but essentially those lights will, will turn into different colors and you will see that it'll start flashing red and blue. And that's the sequence for pairing mode. And then you have to make sure that on this side, of things on the device here. So if you want to start that sequence so that it also goes into pairing mode, you just hold down this where you see this logo right here. Let me see if I can bring it in a little closer. There we go. Right there where you see that logo, I'm going to hold that down three times. Let me see if I, if I can do that now. And as you can see, there we go. You see the sequence also blue and red and it'll tell you in the earpiece when you're there it's in pairing mode now i don't have this connected to a computer but as soon as this dongle recognizes this sennheiser or and now epos i'm getting used to saying epos epos device it'll say pairing successful and then the flashing will go from red and blue to just blue and that's how you connect it in case you have a problem uh, and generally, Ori, that tends to be where a lot of people get hung up is the pairing mode and trying to get synced. Now, 
why does this happen? And you're like, well, what? You know, you get back to our conversation, Ori, about Bluetooth signals. Mm-hmm. First of all, they're weak. And second, they're short distance. So give me another pro tip. Are we on pro tip number three? Pro tip yes. numero tres. Three, tres. This is the third pro tip of today. Bluetooth, Bluetooth has a very weak signal. And you have two types of standards. You have the long distance standard, which is called class one. And the other class is class three. Class one Bluetooth allows you to do a hundred feet. Now take this with a big, huge grain of salt, not a grain, take it with a big old block of salt when I tell you this, because these numbers are fudgeable or in the NFT world, fungible. It is fungible in that don't listen. <laughs> and again, I'm going to tell you this because I've had a lot of experience, 20 years of experience. On this. Don't listen to what the advertised box tells you up to 100 feet, up to 300 feet, up to 10 feet. And the reason is that when these tests are performed, they're por- not performed inside a house or inside an office with furniture and books and shelves. These are performed in labs. And usually there isn't no interference. There is no plants, books, walls in the way. So the advertised range could say 100 feet or 300 feet, even 100 meters, 300 feet. That's ideal range. And, and to get up to 300 feet or 100 feet or whatever the claim is, you need perfect line of sight. You also need to have on both your mobile device and, and the the device that's advertising that range, they have to have that capability. So let's say my presence, you see advertises a range. I'm just going to make up a fictional number of a mile. Okay. If my device doesn't support that up to one mile of range, I will never get it. Never, ever, ever, ever get it. What you're going to get more than likely is 10 feet. And that is a functional range. Now, so you're saying, well, what the heck? What the tech, Ori? What is that? Are these guys lying? They're not lying because the tests are performed in ideal conditions where the there's perfect line of sight. There's nothing in between these two devices, my mobile device, and there's nothing in between the mobile, the Bluetooth device or Bluetooth earpiece or whatever the Bluetooth device is interfering. So don't necessarily go by what's on the box or even the specs, because if your phone doesn't have class one Bluetooth and that's what you need inside your mobile device in order to get that long range and without class one, you won't. Now, Ori, we do have a video where I don't know if we're going to show it here, but we do have a video. And I think it was when we did the Jabra Elite 7 review, we were able to get 500 feet of range and we probably could have done more uh, a much further distance, but I think I got tired of measuring when I got up almost 500 feet. I think it was 483 feet is where I went. And I'm like, okay, we're, and most people are not going to use their Jabra Elite in that way, where you're getting, where you want to go up to about 500 feet of range. Now, again, this was done. We did this outside. We did this on this trail that you're looking at right now, where there was nobody in the way. I basically took my device, put it on, on, on a tripod and I took the Jabra elites, turned them on, put on, um, you know, uh, music. I don't know. I had Pandora or something streaming that, at that, at that moment. And so I put it on that tripod, headed down the trail and I got to 480 something feet and I called it a day. I said, that's, that's more than enough, but it proves the point. There we go. That's when I started going out. But the moment I'd cross into the tree lines, either left or right where the tree was blocking the signal, the further I got away, the more immediately it would cut down the signal. Now that seems obvious. You're going to, you're telling me I could hear people, Rolando, that's so obvious, yeah, but, but you would imagine how many people would not understand that because it, Bluetooth should work. Well, if you have things that are in the way, especially with a signal like this, that's really picky and finicky, your signals very likely to drop the further you are and in close quarters when you start adding other bluetooth signals like wi-fi and you start adding other bluetooth maybe you have another bluetooth device in your house or at work 
those things start to interfere. You also add the PC, which has USB ports that are broadcasting at the exact same frequency as Bluetooth. Now you've added several layers that are not part of the device testing when these are tested in the lab or ideal conditions. So that'll reduce your range. So that's my third pro tip of the day. All right, let's, let's keep on trucking. Ori, there was anything you wanted to say? You wanted to jump in and say, well, we're, we're talking Bluetooth, cell phones, All dongles. Right. Uh, just wanted to give a shout out to everyone watching on Amazon Live. Hey guys, by the way, this is Rolando and Ori bringing to you the EPOS presence you see today. And right. uh, if there's anyone in chat right now, feel free to say hello, unmute, and you know we might give something away if there's anyone in chat today. Oh, but, okay. You know, it's nice. We've it's nice to be back live on Amazon. That's right. That's, that's always exciting. But yeah. right, right. Last time I think we gave away a USB headset. Uh, yeah, we black gave wire. away a, yeah black yes. wire, a really good black wire mm -hmm. USB headset, and we had several people with a <laughs> with an hey, awesome little contest. Hey, we actually got. We got someone. Is this is this Teresa again from last week? Hey Teresa, good afternoon. Welcome back to Tech One Two. Hey and, Teresa, uh, it's Rolando. Welcome, where are you welcome, us welcome. From? I know she's probably a little bit on a delay, so by the time she responds, it'll go about twenty yeah, thirty it'll be seconds. About, yeah, tw twenty twenty thirty seconds from now. All right. Well, Teresa, if you're still watching, hello, welcome to What the Tech. Thanks for watching us again. Uh, do you have any other questions for us? But feel free to put those in the chat. Or anything else you want us to answer for you? Ask me anything. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that. Ori, ask yeah, me anything. Yeah. Right? Uh, feel free to ask <laughs> Rolando or uh, even me anything. I'm gonna so grab my keyboard. Welcome back, Teresa Santiago. Hold on, hold nice on. to see you. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this live. So while while she <laughs> takes a moment, I'm gonna go <laughs> right on to Amazon and I'm just gonna say hello. Thank you for joining. Well, we're saying hello live, so I think she can hear us. Yeah, uh, just in case she has the, she's mute, right? Uh, she has us know. muted she's too. She's listening. So. She's listening. She's talking. Oh, she's listening. Chat. Okay. Yeah. She says, uh, "Well, I have a lot of questions. Well, you should probably go for it. Yeah, go too, for it. But yeah, Teresa, ask away. Yeah, we're we're here. That's why we're here. We're here for folks that watch us. And if you've got questions, go ahead, ask away. I have a lot of questions. Um, let me just see. Go for it. Teresa, shoot your questions. In the market for a new headset, perhaps? You've come at the right time because yeah, Rolando's anything. an expert. <laughs> um, you know, th th that brings up something I wanted to, uh, it's not specifically on the EPOS presence, um, Ori, but I was thinking about this morning how it can be very difficult to buy a headset and mm. um, but i'm watching to see what is good for my gaming studio i've never actually seen one mm, interesting gaming studio for uh streaming so i'm looking for anything that could help me build my gaming studio all right and so i take it let me just ask the obvious question here Gaming studio, you obviously you're into games and you want to have the best sound possible while you're gaming, or you're looking to also communicate when you're gaming. So, let me know if you want to communicate with like what multiplayer yeah. stuff. Is that, uh, is that most, what's what it's likely, called, Ori? You're the gamer. Yeah, most, you're the most, gamer resident. Most likely, yeah. they're gonna want they're gonna want the microphone, a headset with a microphone. All right. So, uh, yeah. There's, there's a couple that Orlando can suggest that is a single solution, which means it's both a headset and a mic that, that has a microphone. But if you're looking at Orlando right now, his setup is a bit different, and this might be the step up above that. So, oh, well, you know what? Let me, Ori, go ahead, talk about this because you are big into the gaming side. You, you, you do, you go, you've gotten Twitch, you've streamed live, you know a little bit more. Go ahead, tell, tell to, or, Talk to Teresa a little bit. Tell her what your experience has been like as a gamer. What would you recommend? Go ahead. All righty. So uh, right now you're listening to me on a dynamic microphone and a monitor headphone combination. So those are two separate pieces. But if I had to make a product suggestion from our lineup, I've also used the Jabra Evolve 2 line to game. And I can say that that was an excellent uh, single piece uh, single solution for 
for uh, gaming and even streaming actually uh, i talk to my friends on discord we i can hear the game sounds i can hear discard sounds and it's all very handy so um if you check in chat rolando is typing down some of the things that i use so yep that uh, jobber evolved to 65 or evolved to 85 is a really good headphone option they're a little bit on the higher end for uh for what i'd say they're for but you know, if you also have meetings and uh, if you also have other uses for it, like yeah, you're business, teams, it, when you're yeah. going teams, yeah, so it's for, for business and gaming, then that's perfect. Um, the benefit of those over what we have right now here in the studio, if you look at Orlando, he has a condenser microphone with a microphone arm that is not mobile. So yes. if, you, if he stands, you need an if arm. He stands up, you need an arm, you need a dedicated arm. If he stands arm up stand. and walks away, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's gone. You can't you can't bring it around with you. All no. right, so I can't I can't get up and go grab a glass of water. Um, I can't if you have to go use the bathroom. I don't know, Ori. I don't. I have to put myself back into my college years. I wish I'd have had a wireless headset so I could just oh, kind of yeah. pause the game or hear the action behind me and go to the bathroom or go to the kitchen and grab a sandwich. Right. Yeah, yeah, agree. If I could listen to my teammates talk while I was grabbing a sandwich in the kitchen, that would be great. Uh, Unfortunately, you can't do that when you're wired up to your PC. So as far as head, as far as wireless solutions go, uh, definitely check out the Jabra Ev- Jabra Evolve Two series. Yes, for sure, definitely. For sure. And uh, th- so that's from the headphone side. It looks like also Teresa also have quest- has questions about. Um, the Lenovo. So, so on the PC side, this is where I think you have more experience. I could just tell you from my, um, when it comes to computers, I just got a Lenovo, Lenovo Legion. All right. It it retails for around 900 bucks. Uh, one of the things that I've found is once I've upgraded to the Lenovo Legion and it's using the i5, uh, processor it's so it doesn't have a screen in your case you're using the laptop um, the bugs that I was having both for streaming and other things went away uh, and Ori and I spent almost six or six to eight months troubleshooting every way <laughs> up down and sideways issues we were having streaming and essentially what, what you would call gaming. So like maybe like the comparison would be live streaming games. Although we weren't gaming, we were doing what you see now, which is Ori, uh, the animated version of him there. Uh, and it's smooth. The picture is smooth. His movements are very smooth. You can hear his voice clearly. You can also uh, <laughs> hear him. <laughs> there, yeah, there we just, go. Just flip around for, yeah, for yeah. Right you get I'm some real kidding. good action there. Um, yeah. That just upgrading the pc to something that can handle more horsepower took the problems away now, and i'll let you jump in on this and talk about it a little bit more Ori, because you could probably talk about it better than i could oh yeah totally so uh teresa if you're ever thinking about uh streaming and gaming you need you need a good pc for that uh, so, and, uh, she, and she says there that my my game freezes not my voice oh. when i stream that's that's uh, that might be that might mean your CPU or your GPU is overloaded in terms of uh, the processes it has, because uh, gaming, gaming and streaming are both sort of um, high, are intense in terms of the processing power they need. So, you know, that's a lot of data that has to go through both the computer and the internet and typically when you have issues when something starts to freeze or crackle or pop it's probably a lack of uh computer power okay and teresa i would just curious which game which game which game i'm just gonna put it on here which game are you using something i learned recently or again you're the Mm -hmm. resident expert some games consume a lot more cpu and and graphics card power than others is that yes, my correct for sure for sure like if you're playing fortnite versus playing stardew valley or uh something like that oh there uh, you go oh, yeah there, <laughs> there you go. go you go go and take it yeah. you know a lot more about fortnite than i do <laughs> yeah if, if it's fortnite that's gonna that's gonna eat up a lot of resources 
And so uh, not sure if uh, Lenovo Yoga can handle the game and streaming. Uh, it can game or it can stream. But when you try to do both, it might freeze up sometimes. So, And Ori, you know that with some setups, I have seen where people will have a gaming machine to just handle the game. Mm -hmm. And then they have another PC, maybe a lower um, horsepower machine that can handle the stream. Can you talk yep. about that? Yep. So um, if you do check out, there's a, there's a bunch of people with tutorials on how to do this. But in theory, it's just you have one PC that does the games where you play your games on. And you send the output of that off through something like an HDMI cable into your streaming PC, which receives that feed. You put it into your streaming software like OBS or, uh, you know, Streamlabs. And you can send it out without having those two processes compete with each other on a single PC. So, yep. Uh, just search YouTube for like dual PC gaming stream setup. And there should be a bunch of them that, that go in depth into that. But if you want to talk about headsets and microphones, you're in the right place right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> so right. we're just giving you our tips from... Uh, in uh, which yeah, game, by I, the I, way, because I haven't... I've, which game is Fortnite? Like, uh, is it a shoot-em-up game? It's a, it's a sh yeah, it's a shoot-em-up game. So it's if you played game. one, it's, it's, it's a mix between... Have you seen Minecraft, Rolando, where they build stuff? Like yes. Minecraft's like yes. uh, basically digital Lego, right? <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah. Indeed. So they took they took the building elements of Minecraft and they added that to a shooter. So in Fortnite, you can kind of build up towers and walls and stuff and obstacles and shoot around them and behind them. But your Call enemies also have that capability. Gotcha. So yeah, that's that's what Fortnite's like, like Call of Duty. Yep, right. with a with a <laughs> with a building element to it. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, Ori, that that's that's the thing with like what you said. You hit it right on the head. So Teresa, you may have, you're playing, I guess, probably one of the more, uh, let's just say computer intensive games out there. And uh, without the kind of machine that has enough horsepower, you're gonna run into issues. So you get, you're freezing up, computer probably slows down. You may see the hourglass or whatever spinning for a while, and then it'll start back up. Um, that's usually a processing power. And I would imagine even if you shut down every application, Except Fortnite, you may even run into that issue. If, if based on what Ori you're telling me, it sounds like it's just you need a horse, a horse that can run this race. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, awesome. So I, I want to also ask. We got Teresa. She's still there. Hey, where? Yeah, I think she's still there. Where still are you here. watching us from? Yeah, Teresa. Tell. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure if she mentioned it last week. I might have forgotten. Oh, um eagles fan go eagles oh no. that's right she was the one that was uh so they got knocked out uh she's <laughs> she's watching from her laptop <laughs> are no, you we're, watching we're us States, from the yeah. east coast are you watching us from you know pennsylvania where new jersey new york just curious just just to know where geographically mm -hmm. you know you don't have to tell us the city if you don't want to tell us just the state would be sufficient um yeah, Eagles got knocked out uh, of the playoffs. They didn't look so good against Tampa. That's who they played against Brady. Brady lit them up pretty good in the first half, and it they came on a little bit strong in the fourth quarter, but just wasn't enough. Brady had them shut out, basically shut out through the first two quarters. Um, so sorry to hear that uh, the Eagles didn't make it on this one. They had a, They had several opportunities, but it seemed like they just weren't ready for Tom Brady and the and the Bucks. All right. All right. So if if you guys wanted to talk football, the extent of my knowledge is I know the playoffs are ongoing. Yes. I know Tom Brady and I know he's on the Bucks. Is Gronk yeah. still with him? <laughs> that's yeah, that's he, about all I know. We can talk the NBA though. <laughs> no, I, 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 he's I, over on our side of the ocean. That's yeah. What, I, people I, are crazy. You know, I, I know the teams. I know some of the players. I can't say I know them nearly as much i mean i played football myself so if i didn't know anything about what was going on with the nfl or even college you know i'm more in the nfl i just you know i, I did the college thing so i but i'd like i like to watch the pros i want to watch the pros play um and see them see them try to you know get into the playoffs so it'll be interesting to see what happens so Teresa, thanks for watching us if there's any other questions that you have feel free to chime in as we go through uh, the rest of today.
Yeah, you can also uh, send us comments on our YouTube channel. We're pretty active on that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, shout out to the rest of the people watching on Amazon right now. If you have us unmuted, go say come say hi. We're thinking yeah. about giving stuff away when there are more people in the chat, like like messing around. You know, you don't yeah. need to be. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You don't need to be too serious. No, but maybe, on a, maybe. On a would you like to yeah. see us some give something away? You know, what do we have any more of those black wires left? Yeah, I think we do. I think oh, we okay. do. Oh, uh, okay. Right. Shall we play a game? Shall we play? Shall a game? we play a game? Yeah. All right. Um, sure. Let's. Let me just take a look here at something here while you're while you're. Let me create the banner. Okay. While you're doing I that, and listen I just want to go ahead and, and go over here. Okay. Yeah. We got. We've got. We, we can. Got we can time. do one. All yeah. right. So uh, everyone right. watching on Amazon Live right now, welcome, welcome. I am Ori, the producer, and th- we have Rolando over here, the founder of Global Tech. And hey we're let's play a game. Let's play a game. So if you're listening right now, unmuted, hopefully, listen to the secret word. And let's let's ask Rolando for the secret word today. Give me an obscure word, bro, that they can only. Oh, you know listen. what? Let's. How about we put we put the secret word? What's on my chest here? All right. All what right. What do you think about so, that? Our mm-hmm. secret That's word it. is Yankees. If you want to win a Plantronic slash Poly Black Wire headset, it's wired USB, headphones, and microphone, just type in Yankees in the chat. All right, so we yeah. won't be typing that. Don't, don't type the instructions in the chat right now. They <laughs> they need to follow the instructions. They need to follow the type instructions. Type it in, right? Yep, yep. So we're giving you about, uh, it's about 10 minutes to three, uh, 10 minutes to two, rather. Ah, wait, no. It's three past two. All right. Yes, yes. And is so that we, we would just say about, it's 203. Uh, yeah, it's 203. Sorry, conversions. <laughs> 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 All right. So our secret word is Yankees. If you're listening right now on Amazon Live, just go to the chat down below, somewhere down here. Rolando, kindly point to where you think chat would be. Chat chat would be. Chat would well, be, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, uh, it depends chat, if you're chat. on mobile or you're on your PC. So chat oh, could yeah. be heat here no, yep it could on be the here side or it down could be below. right over here or it could be down below all right, all right so we'll do this for about uh six minutes right well, no we just we just keep we you know what you could keep flashing it on and off you know what right. when, you know when all you right. have the the banner there so the secret yep. word is, is yankees. yankees and yankees. if you type in yankees into the chat you will be entered you into, into the drawing draw. yeah huh? Yeah, we'll, we'll put you in the draw. We'll do a du- we'll do another duck race. But Teresa, <laughs> if you're still on, I hope you're still on. Her last message was about five minutes ago. She might have bounced out for yeah, a bit. Yeah, that's okay. That's all right. That's, all right. that's how it goes, Ori. People, yeah, come in, goes. get what they need, and they go. That's all right. Yeah, maybe she's looking at new laptops or you know maybe, <laughs> maybe one of the genres. Hopefully on Global Tech, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And and you know we'd be glad to help you, even if it's something that's not exactly what we sell there's no harm in giving you some of our expertise and advice on how to get set up properly all right so all right all right so let's continue secret word is yankees uh and if you type in yankees into the chat we will put you in the running for a um bluetooth um bluetooth we will put you in the running for a black wire (laughs) (laughs) i'm gonna give away a bluetooth (laughs) maybe we should do that the next time um, uh, once we start establishing like a regular cadence to this, for sure, for sure, absolutely, so, uh, absolutely. Come, come play with the, come play with the global tech guys, guys. That's right, so, that's right. And so, all right, over here. right. And so let's uh, let's continue. So we were talking about the presence Bluetooth headset, uh, mm-hmm. Ori. And so I was saying, uh, giving folks some pointers. And if you want to get rid of that banner there, so we yep, can come sec. back to it in a couple minutes. Um. Let me move this out of the way. We can get back to presence. You know, I, one of the things that if you're shopping on Amazon, uh, what we find is, is is a lot of folks that are shopping on Amazon, they have a plethora of options. And depending on what you're looking for, if you start, like for example, you're starting off looking for a Bluetooth headset, you will get a million options and you're probably wondering, well, why should I pay, you know, 100, 200, even 300 bucks for a Bluetooth headset? There are some big differences that you should know. And we've done this as well on our YouTube channel. We've reviewed many Bluetooth devices 
that are sold that we don't even sell as well as the ones that we sell. And the difference is this, the lower, when you go into the lower range of Bluetooth devices, and this is definitely not one on the lower end, what you find is you lose a lot of features and comfort. For example, on this presence, you see uh, presence Bluetooth headset It's designed to work like a regular Bluetooth device and be professional enough and have enough horsepower to do the business applications. So if you want one headset that's going to allow you to stream music as you're on the go, to listen to YouTube videos, to call your mom or your dad or your brother or your sister, whomever, and at the same time, you want that same exact Bluetooth headset to have the quality of getting on a Skype call with a colleague, to get on Microsoft Teams or Zoom, and to also go in the car, have a decent conversation where maybe a customer is hearing you properly or a colleague. This is where the more high-end devices like the Presence come into play. The lower end devices typically don't have very good noise canceling. The lower end devices don't play nice with business apps. And so that's what you're paying for when you're talking about a brand like a, like EPOS or Sennheiser. You're getting a brand that's known for audio quality. You're getting a brand that knows what it's like to navigate around business apps. And you're going to get a brand that when it comes to those business apps, it's going to do the job in terms of compatibility as well as the features you need to make it work. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're on a Zoom call. Um, or you're on Microsoft Teams, all right? If you happen to use those two apps, there are headsets that will allow you to pick up the call right from the headset. Now, all you need in order for that to happen is, is you need to first want to make sure that the device itself, so in this case, the Presence or any of these headsets, uh, you know, Jabra or, uh, or Plantronics, that it says, uh, certified for Microsoft Teams or certified for Zoom. If it's got those two things, you can rest assured that the device is going to be integrated with the functions of the Bluetooth and it will allow you to pick up the call right from the headset. No need to monkey around looking for your, for your mouse. No need to go grab the keyboard to answer. You won't need to do any of that when you're using a Microsoft Teams certified device or a Zoom certified device. There's something else that you should know when you're using that, um, um, that device, along with those apps, there's a big distinction between using it on your mobile device when using teams or zoom on your mobile device versus using teams or zoom with your computer. When you're using zoom or teams with your computer, this is where these dongles come into play. They've been tested by Microsoft. They've been tested by zoom. They've been tested by these other apps to work and be compatible and integrated when it comes to these um, types of Bluetooth devices. And when it comes to the mobile, you don't get that. You will not get that integration. What you do get with the more expensive devices that are Bluetooth, you will get a Bluetooth that is able to now communicate with, with Siri, with um, the Android uh, apps assistant. Uh, the Android assistant, so or Google assistant, like you say, Hey Google, and you say, Hey Google through here, boom, it answers your phone. And then, you know, what's your command or whatever, if it's Siri, what does Siri say? You, uh, or you use a Mac, um, uh, iPhone or no, you use an Android? No, I'm an Android guy. Okay. So you do, Hey Google, and that's, that's the yeah. prompt for the, yeah. okay. So then, Hey Google, and then, uh, find me the nearest supermarket and it will show that to you. That's integrated with some of these higher end Bluetooth devices. You won't get that with a $20 or $30 Bluetooth headset. You just won't get it. it they're just not there because they haven't put in that. Um, and that's where the distinction is when you're talking about, uh, something like this, like the presence you see. Sennheiser has a huge amount of engineers and R and D that goes into building these devices. They're not all the same. Um, you're not just paying almost $200 because you're, you know, you're paying for a brand name. You're actually paying for a lot of development and R and D that goes into making these devices. And the other thing, or if you recall back to our Bluetooth test that we did outdoors, when we looked at, um, these higher end Bluetooth devices, as well as, mm -hmm. um, you can go ahead and you put it, we do half screen. We can talk to each other here. When, uh, when we did those outdoor tests, 
with um, the higher end Bluetooth devices as well as the lower end, what we yeah. saw was that the higher end Bluetooth devices have the ability to just filter out the noise around you and also block out wind and other distracting noise. Whereas the lower end uh, Bluetooth headsets just did not do that. Yep. I remember even the, like there were, there were a couple of China brands that we got to try out. Mm -hmm. And aside from not being able to block out noise, they also created some sort of like a hum or a high pitched ring. You know, it's just yeah. overall, you get what you pay for when it comes to these things. Yeah. It, it cost almost that much to make a device, you know, uh, they're working on vapor margins, maybe less than a buck. I don't know, mm -hmm. a, a, a unit when it comes to that. Um, and you, if all you want is something wireless to connect and you don't really care about noise and you don't care and you're maybe in an environment where you have a closed door, but if you have what you were just talking about in the device itself, I remember that that was uh, one of the, the a Asian brands that was, that we tested they in the actual earpiece while you're using it there was a hum that was just bothersome and that's something that you don't want especially if you're going to be using this all day long yeah you absolutely. want something that's quality so uh and also you'll get more talk time so the outdoor settings if you plan on using something outdoors this is where this is going to shine if you plan on using a bluetooth headset in the car this is where the presence is going to shine if you want if you're going to be using this with business applications, this is also where this the, the presence Bluetooth headset will shine. There's a lot of other applications that you could use. Uh, it, it's, it's certainly for folks that are in the healthcare industry. Uh, if you're in the in, in dealing with customers and you're using your phone or your PC and you want a much better audio from a Bluetooth perspective, this is where this is going to do well. Now, the form factor that you see here, okay, let me go here. The form factor that you're seeing here is you can see it's really designed for folks that are on the go uh, or you're moving about. Uh, it's very lightweight. Uh, if you're more of a dedicated phone person, meaning you're on the phone several hours a day, and there's, uh, I should say if you're on the telephone in your office versus telephone in, in, on the mobile, there are other Bluetooth sets that probably are better suited for you. This could do the job, but if you're looking for something that has a longer talk time, maybe a longer boom on the end so that the microphone's closer to your mouth, uh, there's others from a performance standpoint, just like Teresa was on early, they have the horsepower for those needs. There's other headsets that we offer that will do the job. But for folks that are maybe not on with customers all day long, want something to take on the road, use with their cell phone, maybe pop into a Zoom call, listen to YouTube, stream some music. This really does the job. It lets you know that you're going to be covered if you've got to get on a call with folks from the office or customers. So Sennheiser Presence really impressed with the things they've done uh, when it comes to uh, the technology inside it that Sennheiser is known for. Now, Ori, did you want to pop in and we do another um, unmute and let folks know? Yeah, sure. Uh, so anyone who's still watching on Amazon, we are close to wrapping up. But before we do, we will try again and play with you guys. So yeah. our game, as usual, is unmute and listen to the secret word. And the secret word for today is on Rolando's shirt. It's Yankees. So just Yankees. type in Yankees in the chat and you might win a headset. Go ahead so and roll. type Yankees. Yeah, yeah, we need to set a time for this. I'd say uh, about two, 15 minutes. We wrap it. Yeah, in 15 okay. minutes we wrap, and so you know, type in Yankees in the Yankees, chat. So you've you've got 15 minutes to win a black wire Bluetooth headset. You know what? Why don't we type that in? Let's just type that in. Yep. To win a black wire. Let me let me. You're gonna do it. All right. For it. Yep. Okay. Win a black wire headset by typing the secret word. And the chat. And chat. And when you when you finish that, Ori, can you pull up the um, the one minute um, the one minute car demo with the presence? And we'll, we'll one show folks car what, demo with the presence. All right. Yeah, we'll pull that up. up. Yep, and we'll show folks how well 
this performed in the car. I'll show them a demo of, of actually using this device. All right, so entertain our folks, Ro, as I need to go All back. All right, no our... problem. And, y you know, so we were talking about Bluetooth. You know, i just tell you a little bit about myself. I've been doing this uh, when it comes to communications devices for over 20 years. Uh, I actually started Global Tech Worldwide in my kitchen. So go figure. I know there's a lot of people that could be watching this and, um, you know, wondering, well, how did you guys get started? Well, started Global Tech Worldwide in my kitchen in the year 2002. And I had a computer that at that time was seven, about seven years old. Took it out, used it in my kitchen. And that's how Global Tech got started. And uh, okay, here we go. You're teeing it up. So give me a, give me 30 seconds to wrap on this. So started it in my kitchen in 2002 with a seven year old computer Ori. And we, that's how we got our, got our beginnings. And then eventually, you know, we are what we're doing now, um, streaming and doing all kinds of stuff, selling uh, around the world. Uh, but that's how global tech started. I see a message here from Teresa. She says, yeah, Hi, she's I'm back. back. She's back. And I Teresa, if you want to play, my Wi-Fi is down. I had to connect hotspots. <laughs> That's yeah. fine. That's fine. We're playing a game right now. You can win a black wire headset from Polly by typing the secret word in chat. And the secret word, if you unmute and listen, is right on Rolando's t-shirt. The word is Yankees. Bro, don't type it in chat. Just, you know, let's see if people follow instructions. <laughs> okay. I just put, uh, they already had, had started there typing it in. Yeah, there you Type go. There you secret go. Secret word to win a USB headset. Hey, Teresa, this might help you play Fortnite. Hey, <laughs> yeah, teammates. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yep. So absolutely. our secret word right now is Yankees. It's on Rolando's shirt. Just type that in the chat. There it is. There it is. And you will be added to a draw. But Ro, uh -huh. if no one else joins the draw, then Teresa's automatically the winner, right? I think so. There we go, Teresa. So we we're go. counting down. We've got 11 minutes left before yeah, we, we got pull 11 the trigger. minutes left. Let me miss left. The we'll pull the, yeah, we'll pull the trigger. I love the Yankees. <laughs> I love the Yankees. <laughs> Are you from the Northeast? Well, she she likes Philly, and she's roots for the Yankees. So, she may be from the Northeast. That my maybe, favorite maybe. team. Oh, oh no, she's not. She's not from the Northeast. Maybe she's West Wait, Coast Yankees gal. Fan. Mm -hmm. Maybe West Coast, South, Midwest, maybe international. Oh, I, uh, and why? And why? I bet. Wow, let me know. let me put my money here. She's got to be from one of the five boroughs, right? Fight one of the. Maybe she's I don't know down what the five boroughs or, are. Or, I've I've not been to New York. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's, I lived in Brooklyn for quite some time, and so Ooh. maybe maybe she's from one of the. Oh, Li Long Island, Strong Isle, Strong Isle in the house. All Hopefully, right. <laughs> if if in like 10 minutes no one else joins then you you're gonna have to give your whole address later but we'll give you our contact details um yep how do how do we get in touch with our eventual winner Ro? well teresa there's a couple of ways you can get a hold of us so we get you this headset uh if you're the only one um you can go and click on our profile you can put that link there uh, ori inside of um mm, all right inside yep. go into our profile on amazon put the link there and the winner all they need to do is go to that link send us a message and say hey i i they pulled me out of the hat and i won and we'll know if you did or not and we'll go ahead and get your details that way all righty that's amazon.com slash global tech worldwide yep yep and um, we could also we could also put on there what it, what there you go. Mm -hmm. and, and you'll be able to send us. That's our profile. Um, it also can um, put in global-tech, T-E-C-K, dot com. That goes to our website. And anybody in our customer service team will also take your details and make sure that um, that you get the headset. So eventual yep. winner, you will get a prize. Okay. We just want to All take right. your details. But so we're, we're not going to make it minutes. that easy, right? We still have nine minutes. So anyone else on Amazon, there's still I see four people. Okay. All you need to do is uh, you type know, in. unmute. Yeah, unmute. Yep. unmute. And type in 
the secret word. And today's secret word, if you're if you've been paying attention, is Yankees. All right, mm-hmm. so it's red on Rolando shirt. Loud That's and right. proud. <laughs> but yeah, Go Ter- Yanks. Ter- yeah, Teresa might be rooting for for no one else to type it in. <laughs> Nobody else to type default. in the, the secret but word, right? Anyway, is, we're we're not just giving this away because you joined us, but we've been planning on this even before the episode. We tried it last year too, but thank you for spending time with us, Teresa. Mm-hmm. Really appreciate, really appreciate the engagement. That's so, right. Um, we we sure do. Yep. All right. So, let me just, yeah. Anything else you want to talk about, Rolando? You've yeah, got eight give minutes. Give me a on second to grab another sip of water here. All right. Let me focus myself. And everyone else, shout out to uh, shout out to our viewers on Amazon. I am Ori. I'm the producer of Global Tech. Uh, if you like any of our shows, be sure to check out our big library of tech tutorials on YouTube. You can find us, uh, just type Global Tech with a T-E-C-K on YouTube, and you should find both our channels. We have our Global Tech Tutorials channel, and we also have our uh, podcast where we show... You know, we have guests on, do product demos and all that kind of stuff with Rolando's co-host Dave on that show. Yep. And uh, yeah. And we're trying some new things today. So you're seeing Mm. an animated Mm. Ori character. Um, Yes. Love to see if you have any feedback on that. We're also trying out this new set here that's behind me. That's also new. Um, And so we're going to be trying more and more new things and pushing the envelope on what we can we can do. Uh, yep. So I appreciate your feedback if, if you're watching and tuning in on what you think about some of this this stuff. Yeah, what um, do you think about the the cartoon style? Actually, <laughs> we might debut Rolando's puppet. Let's give them a preview, Ro. Let's give them Ooh, a preview on my oh, end. A right? little taste? A little you taste from my end, yep. All right, let's do that. So why, why? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's oh, armed. There we go. Hi, there hey, we go. Alter, now, now alter, let, me, let me look at him this way. Hey, Ultra yep. Eagle, Ro. What what are you doing over there? Hello, my myself. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? Welcome to In- another segment of Tech One Two, and you know, look, hey, do we have the same background? <laughs> it looks very similar. You're, yeah, you're see, the virtual I see the version. <laughs> <laughs> it looks it uh, looks like you know you're in cyberspace somewhere uh, in the cloud. Yep. This is the cloud version of Ro. Yep, this is the cloud version of Ro. <laughs> <laughs> amazing well, amazing let's change, let's change the name for for easy there you we get go it. okay there you go okay i give support my co- yes absolutely give the uh, our support give a, give us six minutes if no one else joins you win by default but <laughs> if someone so hold else on there joins, Teresa, don't jump the do gun draw, yep Hold your horses. Hold your horses. <laughs> you know, you know what I wanted to do here before we got to um, the drawing. Something. The the other thing I was that's why I was talking about new. So, alter ego row. You know, the real row is over here, in, just outside the nation's capital near Washington D.C. And uh, I'm actually using a new camera, and this camera is a it's a newer one made by polycom which is now called poly which is a merger from plantronics one of those other complicated relationships again or and you would not believe how tiny that camera is and i'm the video that i'm looking at and if you want to can you put up a banner video by poly p21 or something like that ori or or alter ego row this one yeah yes. this camera angle is from the poly studio this is not our normal pro style sony cameras and i am thoroughly impressed i gotta tell you the only reason why we're doing this because we did a review on this a couple weeks ago but towards the end of last year and Mm -hmm. i was impressed i was really impressed with the video quality and so much so that i was i said hey ori let's just put this on live see what see what this looks like um and if folks will respond to it, they tell us this is a crummy looking video feed or not. But this is right using the Poly Studio P21. Now, the name is a misnomer because you think Poly Studio, it's like a bunch of complicated things. It totally is not. It is simply a built in monitor that has both a camera in it and the, the um, there we go. That's it. Perfect. That's exactly what, what you're looking at, what I'm using right now. 
is that right there. Uh, and it's got a built-in camera that's a 4K camera. We sell this as well. It's on our, it's on our store. Uh, we support it as well. So if you need help in getting set up, we also help you do that. 4K camera, built-in speakers, and camera. Here's the other thing. It's got some really cool features like you can actually turn the volume up and down from there as well as it does the business side. It'll integrate into Microsoft Teams if you're a Microsoft Teams user as well as integrate into Zoom. So it's functions of volume control and mute <clears throat> are built into the all-in-one monitor. So you don't have to go fiddling around with your keyboard or mouse at all. Uh, and so these images that you're looking at me right now through this angle, these are from the Poly Studio P21. And I got to tell you, I don't know if anybody from Poly is watching. I am really surprised by the images. And we maybe should bring one of the guys from, from Poly onto the set and have them give us some more explanation. What do you think, uh, Cyber Row, Cyber Rolando? What do you think about that? I think that's a good idea. <laughs> of course, obviously, the voice doesn't match because I am not Rolando, but maybe Rolando will go live as this character sometime in the future. So let me yeah, just switch back. Yeah, I know, man. Every time, every time I talk to you, you seem to have some surprises. Whoa, there he is. Nope. There we there, go. Oh, all right. All right. Now you're back, <laughs> back, you're in, the back in the studio. Back in the studio. Yep. Oh, my goodness. And thanks for a shout out to Stephen Healy. Stephen, thanks for following us. We appreciate yeah, you. A follow, shout out to you. Steven. All right. So, so last chance. Let's do a we final call. We got two call. minutes. A two minute combat, right? Minute, minute and a half. Minute and a half. Minute and so a half. Our game right now is you can win a Blackwire headset by typing the secret word in chat. To everyone watching live on Amazon right now, unmute and listen to the secret word. And the secret word is Yankees. It's on Rolando's shirt. That's our secret word of the day. Type Yankees. it into the chat. You got Type a minute left. Type it into left. the chat. And uh, we're going to do a quick draw. So, Stephen, if you want to be entered, there you go. Now we got, oh, oh go. Teresa, oh, now oh, you wait, got a wait, competitor. Wait. You have a 50, it's still the chance. The odds are good. It's 50%, 50% that you will actually win. Actually, the odds are very good for both of these players. Yeah, it's good. Good chance. 50-50 chance. It's better than Vegas. A a Black they are. Yep, there we go. We All got right, a thirty so second countdown here, and so those these are better odds close than Vegas. The draw in about thirty seconds. Once again, the game is you can win a black wire headset by typing the secret word in chat. We have two participants today: Teresa Santiago and Stephen Healy. And uh, give us a sec. Give us a sec. No, oh, yeah, you get while well, you get that USA ready. Play. I'll 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 talk about I'll talk about the black wire. So it's a really good USB headset mm -hmm. um, that you can use. Um, you can use it for gaming. You can use it for All listening right. to music. Let me jump and in. You can use Five it for business seconds, purposes. four, three, two, one, and it's closed. That's All right, it. now we just need to pick. Now we just need to pick a winner. All, All right, right, now we're we gonna do it up. like last time—a duck race. Yes, we're we're gonna do that. Oh, I love this. I love this. The duck race. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so we're not going to pick it. We're going to let the interweb machine thing yep. pick it on its own uh, yep. via a duck race. Yes, sir. All right. So <laughs> did I get this name right? Is it Healy? Yeah, it's Healy. All right. Yep. All right. Let's set it for two minutes. Oh, yeah, that's that's good. Yeah, that's a that's a long one. I mean, let's do a minute. Uh, wait. All right. Can that, you re yeah, set it for a minute. Minute, minute's good enough. Good, good suspense. All right, one sec. And while Ori's setting up, this is going to be a, an actual virtual duck race where we put in Teresa's name and Steven into a virtual hat of sort. And we'll let the machine run a duck race where these two participants, if it had, had 10, it would have been 10 um, in here where you're going to have really good odds, uh, better than Vegas, of winning the duck race. Uh, and the winner will know exactly who wins at the end of this duck race. All right. There we go. Right. There, we go. there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. There's two ducks. Oh, my goodness. Steven is in the lead. Teresa's not far behind. She is trailing, trailing, trailing. Okay, Steven is, oh, they're almost neck and neck. Oh my goodness, Ori, look at that. It is a virtual dead heat. 
on this. You gotta love those quacking noises. Yeah, <laughs> look, look at the look at the random generated outfits for the ducks. Steven's ready. He has he has his face mask and cucumber on, and <laughs> it looks like a helmet, right? Steven's Steven Duck has got a helmet going. Looks like maybe that helmet. helmet's right. weighing him down. Teresa's nice and light, without all that extra gear. Uh oh, uh oh. Steven is oh, oh. Steven is taking the Eight lead. Eight seconds, seven, six, oh, five. Oh. Oh, Teresa's coming Teresa from behind. Teresa is oh, coming up oh, from no. behind. Oh. Whoa, and whoa. Nice. <laughs> oh. <right>. Congratulations. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there you Congratulations, go, Teresa. Teresa. Yep. You, you, you fought brave and valiant, Stephen. Maybe the Thanks extra headgear and helmet probably didn't work out today. All right. So... Teresa, just reach out to us uh, uh, through our <laughs> yes, yay! So if reach out through us through our customer support. You could do it that through Amazon or through our website, and let them know that you won the duck contest. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Go, go, uh, Ro, go, go. you'll make sure the guys are. Uh, I'm gonna send to out, I'm gonna send a message right now to the customer service team while yes. you're taking care of that. Awesome. That way they awesome. know. All right, well, that's happening. Thank you once again for participating on our uh, live stream. We do this every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 1-ish Eastern. <laughs> and uh, once again, you were watching Rolando and me on Tech 1-2, where we unbox Bluetooth headsets, speakerphones, web cameras, and other office devices. And if you want to hear the information that you need to hear when making these purchase decisions, Always be sure to consult the experts. And the expert would be Rolando or Dave. I'm sending uh, a message had... right now to our customer service team. Yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem. So, thank you for joining, thank you for joining. Congratulations once again to Lisa Santiago. Maybe, you know, uh, once this arrives, you can, you can start talking to your teammates in Fortnite, right? USB headset, always a nice thing to have. All right. That went off the team, so they um, are expecting Teresa's either chat, phone call, or email from any of our social media through any of our other platforms, so you are in the system, and they know about it now. Awesome. Awesome. That is great. So, uh, Ro, any parting words before we wrap up the show? I want to thank everybody that joined us today, whether you're still here hanging on and watching us live, as well as if you were watching us earlier, we bring you this uh, stream every, what are we, Wednesday. Uh, mm -hmm. If you're watching us on Amazon, we are live on Amazon on Wednesdays. And bring your questions. Let's talk. Talk shop. We could talk about technology in the office, technology for use at home. And uh, we'll put our 20 years of expertise uh, to you for you so that you can get the right devices and that's the bottom line we want to make sure that you get the right device and uh, we'll also do it with a smile so thank you for joining us today and we look forward to seeing you in the next episode all right bye everyone <laughs>